Welcome back to the Dino Dungeon Devlog. Hi, I'm Nino. Is this all my biddies? When I look at the game so far, I see the majority of the movement is sideways. Mario, Celeste, Meat Boy, all the greats have movement mechanics that ascend and descend the player. Put simply, the player should feel like they can go anywhere on the screen, not just on the ground, by using the level mechanics. Mario has vines. Meat Boy has entire vertical levels where you use wall slides, and Celeste has bounce pads and all sorts of things. First, let's figure out how to gain some height and get off the ground. A jump pad is the obvious solution. You might be tempted to make a physics material 2D and make it bouncy. The thing is, with physics materials, the bounce works with a multiplier. So if you want to gain some height, you need to set the multiplier to more than one. But this means that if you bounce and you return to the jump pad, you will get higher and higher and higher and higher until you break the physics. I want to set a constant height that can be gained by jumping on the jump pad. So I wrote some code that detects physical objects and pushes them upwards. And now it works as expected. The jump pad is a Kenny asset, it has a simple two-frame animation, but I've been getting into the habit of making things juicier with squash and stretch animations. And now, when the player jumps on the jump pad, they gain a constant height, and the jump pad has some responsive feedback. How about some one-way platforms? A one-way platform is a platform that you can get onto by jumping through it from below. But what about pressing down to fall through the platform? Blackthorn Prod has a tutorial on this exact thing, but it's no good. His solution is to mess with the collider of the platform instead of adjusting the collider of the player, but what this means is that other things on the platform will also fall through the platform. This video by Bendux has a better solution. Here, we just disable the collisions between the player and the one-way platform for a split second, allowing the player to fall through. And as we see, our dino falls through the platform and the box stays on it. So now we can get to a one-way platform by jumping through it from beneath or using a jump pad, and we can fall through it by pressing down. How about a controlled ascend and a controlled descent. So being able to position players vertically and accurately. Sounds like a job for ladders. What I've done is that the player's ground detection trigger collider can also detect ladders. So if the player is overlapping a ladder and they press up or down, the player can move vertically on the ladder and gravity is switched off. The player can still move sideways across the ladder. I think this is really important to communicate to the player that they can just move off the ladder if they wish to. And they can also jump off. We can also have ladders lead to a one-way platform so you can maintain the height that you just gained. Now there's something about the dinos. The usual way to gain height is to jump on another dino. This has always been somewhat tricky due to the colliders of the dinos. Their heads are big, but their bodies are small. If the box collider is the width of their head, it means that the dinos can float at ledges. If their collider is the width of the body, then they're hard to land on. And if the collider is exactly their body shape, well, Things like this happen. Then I have the genius idea. Why don't I make the head a one-way platform? This means head collisions only take place from above and not below or sideways. So the head is now easy to jump onto. Also, dinos can just scoot on up next to another dino and jump directly up in order to get on their heads. It also means that boxes that are stuck in corners can now be retrieved by kicking them up and letting them land on your head. In my game feel video, I added coyote time as well as early jumping. These specific features enforce responsive design through forgiveness. The player pressed jump before they touched the ground. Let them jump. Or the player ran off a ledge and then pressed jump late. Still let them jump. The guys from Celeste said it's actually worse for the player to press a button and see nothing happen. Players may feel that the button press wasn't registered and that your game sucks. Uh, and you don't want that. You want to feel like, like you're in control of your character and it's doing what you want it to do. So here we're going to go even further. We will allow double jump anywhere at any time. And now when the dinos have jumped, they can jump again. Just once though, I will allow it. How about a different form of controlled descent? The player is moving down in a controlled fashion. I think platformers that have a little bit of wall slide where you're sliding down the wall and you can jump off of it are really great. So having watched a tutorial and then implementing it, the dinos can now slide down the walls and when they jump, they jump away from the wall. I was hesitant about this one, but the whole purpose of what I'm doing here is to be able to create pathways across the level. Being able to slide down walls and then jump off of them creates more pathways in the levels. Perhaps I could create little mini challenges where there are hard to reach spots and by using wall sliding and jumping you could get coins or rewards. With the features that I just made, as well as the moving platforms and the conveyor belt and the buttons and the switches, I have a plethora of ways to interact with the levels. Thank you to my patrons. Subscribe, hit the bell button, so when I make something on my end, you 
receive it on the bell end.